Okay, so in this video, we're going to start our next unit. This is the second unit of the semester, and this unit is called Work, Energy, and Power. Okay, and so after this unit, um, there's basically one unit left in mechanics, and then we will finally be done with mechanics, and we get to move on to another topic. Um, now, just as a reference, uh, this is topic, I think, 2.3 in your IB Physics tex textbook, if you want to follow along with that. Um, I will tell you right now that this unit involves concepts that will be used throughout the rest of this year and throughout IB Physics 2 as well. So um, make sure you're paying close attention and take good notes. Um, of course, I always say that, but it's definitely true in this situation since some of these concepts are going to be reoccurring themes throughout the rest of this year. Okay, so this is just going to be a very short introduction video talking about some basic things related to energy, and then we'll get into talking about work in the next video. Okay, so I want you to think for a few minutes um, about the answer to this question. I don't want you to, to look this up. That would defeat the purpose. I want to know what you already know. I want to know what prior knowledge you have coming into this class. Okay, so in previous science classes, you've likely discussed different types of energy. Okay, so I want you to think about what are some different types of energy that you know about or have heard about in your past science classes. And again, don't look this up. Um, I mean, it would be very easy to look up, of course, but that would defeat the purpose because I want to know what you know. Okay, so take a minute, think about what are some types of energy uh, that you've heard about in your past science classes. Okay, so there's lots of different types of energy um, in the universe. There's, you know, gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, elastic potential energy, you know, wind energy, solar. Um, somebody always says, like, radiant energy, which is just energy from electromagnetic waves. Um, there's, you can get energy from water, nuclear energy, chemical energy. There's lots of different types of energy out there. Um, and... The primary types of energy that we're going to talk about in this class in mechanics are going to be kinetic energy and potential energy. And both kinetic energy and potential energy fall under what is called mechanical energy. Okay, we'll see later in this unit, mechanical energy is basically the, the kinetic energy of, of an object plus its potential energy. Okay, so those are the primary types of energy we're going to talk about in this class, um, although there are other energies that might be tangentially relevant, like thermal energy, heat, um, that we might talk about in passing. Now, um, at this point, it would make sense for me to tell you what energy is, but I can't really do that. I can't really give you a good definition of energy because it's kind of an abstract concept. Um, a lot of physics textbooks would have the definition of energy say something like, you know, energy is the ability uh, to do work on an object. Okay, um, And you might have even heard that definition before, the ability to do work on an object. Well, the problem is, later on in the next video, when I give you the definition of work, I'm going to define work in terms of energy. Okay, And so if you have two words defined in terms of each other, that, that doesn't really tell you anything because it's like circular reasoning. Okay, so I can't really give you a good definition of energy. It's not because, you know, I, I don't know anything about energy. Um, I know lots of things about energy. I just, it, it's hard to put a, a definition on it. Okay, so rather than try to define energy, I will just talk about some of the basic properties of energy. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, okay, so energy, like I said, is often defined very loosely as the ability to do work. Um, but in reality, it's a very difficult abstract concept uh, to define. Okay, here's what I can tell you about energy. Okay, as far as we know, there's lots of different types of energy. Energy can be possessed by an object in many different forms. Um, and in any given situation, it just turns out that if you think of the total energy possessed by an object, that total amount of energy does not change in a given situation. Okay, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be transformed from one, um, one type of energy to another type of energy. And this is going to be the key concept behind the rest of the unit. This concept is known as the conservation of energy, and this is one of the fundamental principles of mechanics. Okay, so energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be changed into different forms. Okay, but the total amount stays the same. 
Okay, so I can tell you things about energy like that. I can't really give you a definition of what it is, but I can tell you some of the properties that seem to apply to energy. Now, I want to come back to this this idea of, of changing energy from one form to another in just a second. Um, first, make sure you add this information to your notes. Okay, this is just some basic uh, information that you need to know about energy. Okay, so first of all, um, the symbol we will use for energy in this class is going to be a capital E, and we're going to use subscripts to denote different types of energy, kind of like how we use a capital F for force, and then we use subscripts to denote different types of forces. Okay, so for example, kinetic energy, I would write as E K, or let's say gravitational potential energy, I would write as E G, and so on. Okay, and we'll see different types of energies throughout this unit. Okay, so capital E, subscript to uh, denote the type of energy. The unit for energy is the joule. Okay, joule was a physicist, and when you have a unit that's named after a guy, you capitalize it, so that would be a capital J. So, for example, if I you know, had a toy car that had two joules of kinetic energy, I would write that like EK equals two joules like that, okay, capital J for joule. Now, all forms of energy are scalars, which is very nice because as we know, um, vectors are kind of more annoying to deal with. Uh, so we don't necessarily have to um, deal with vector addition in this unit, but we are going to kind of sort of have to deal with vectors as we'll see in the next video. Okay, but energy itself is always a scalar, meaning it has magnitude but not direction. Okay, so we're mainly going to be focused on mechanical energy in this unit, which includes different types of potential energies, and then kinetic energy. Okay, and then in the next video, we'll talk more about work. Um, but the last thing I want to mention in this video is I want to show you um, ways that energy can change from one form to another. All right, so let me open up the simulation, and I will link the simulation so you can play with it yourself. Okay, but just to give you an example, here is a girl, and I can click this button so I can see the different energy symbols. And so notice right now that based off of the key, this girl, she's not doing anything, but her body has chemical energy. Okay, now, where do you think she gets chemical energy from? Well, from the food she eats. As she pedals, what's going to happen is that chemical energy is going to change into mechanical energy. Okay, specifically, it's changing into kinetic energy because the thing starts to move. Okay, as she pedals, that mechanical energy is used to turn the turbine on a generator, and a generator takes mechanical energy and turns it into electrical energy. And so you can see the gray block becomes a blue block. That's electrical energy. And then it goes into a heater, and it's used to heat up the water, which gains thermal energy. And so over time, you'll see the temperature of the water increase. Okay, now I can make her pedal faster. Okay, so as she pedals faster, you'll you'll slowly see the temperature increase over here. Now the girls run out of chemical energy, so she says feed me. So I can hit feed me, give her more chemical energy, and the whole process continues. And if I want to, I could put a light bulb back here rather than a, a thing of water, and you can see that electrical energy is turned into um, thermal energy inside the light bulb, which then starts to glow as it gets hot and gives off light. Okay, you can see there light energy is being produced, plus thermal energy, because this, this type of light bulb produces um, heat as well, as opposed to like a more energy efficient light bulb that you can buy in the store that produces less thermal energy and mostly just light energy. Okay, so hopefully you can see through the through this really basic simulation that there's different types of energy. Um, conservation of energy is a really big concept in, throughout all of physics where the idea is that you have different types of energy, but you can change um, energy from one form to another form. As long as at the beginning you have this many joules and at the end you have the same number of joules of energy. Okay, Because you can't create or destroy energy, you can just change it from one form to another. Okay, so that is the basic theme we're going to keep coming back to in this unit. Um, play around in th with the simulation if you would like. In the next video, we're going to jump into calculations involving work, and then we will go from there. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.